Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic, it's something that all living things need. You need it, I need it, the birds, the trees, the plants, we all, all living things need this and it comes from rain or water, right? So rain, rain and rain drops. So we're not talking about just rain, we're talking about the shape and of one single raindrop, right? There's a lot of raindrops, but we're going to focus on just one raindrop and how it moves in the air. So raindrops don't always look like pears. Pears is like a tear, teardrop shape, right? It's very fat in the bottom and very skinny at the top. So they don't always look like that. In fact, actually, their shape grows and changes as they fall. So when they're falling, their shape changes. It's from circle to a pear to an egg. And also their size changes when they're falling. First, the raindrops diameter starts at just one millimeter in the air. We have this vocabulary word, diameter. Diameter is talking about the size of something. So when we have a soccer ball, then the diameter would be from the beginning of the soccer ball all the way to the end of the soccer ball is how wide the soccer ball is. So the diameter for the raindrop, it's not like a soccer ball, it's very small. So we're talking about the size of the raindrop at one millimeter. Its shape is similar to a steamed bun. So a steamed bun would be like those uh, bakery goods that we see at the bakery store or, or at the bakery. And it's shaped like a little, I guess, a steamed bun which would have like red bean inside or some sort of cream inside, like a donut. It looks like, kind of like a donut. As it falls, this raindrop combines with other drops. So there are many other drops and combined means they go together. So there's many drops and when they combine, they form one big giant uh, raindrop or bigger raindrop. The growing raindrop takes the shape of a jelly bean, like those candies that we know. So uh, again, it's still changing, it's combining, the size is changing, the shape is changing always. Just like a balloon, the pressure in the air starts to flatten the top. So the pressure of, in the air means the air is trying to squeeze the water raindrop, right? The air is trying to squeeze it. So the air starts to flatten the drop. So flatten means it makes it like this. If it's round like this, then we want to flatten it so it becomes like this, a little bit like this, right? Once the drop grows to a size of 4.5 millimeters, the parachute-shaped droplet splits in two. So parachute is when people jump from the airplanes and when they are uh, flying down on this big parachute, right? We know that shape, right? When they're falling. So the parachute droplet, it splits. Splits means it's one, but it turns into two like this. So first, it combines into little ones and then when it becomes too big it splits into two and it goes splat on the ground and that's the entire journey from the cloud to the ground all right we have three review questions here first one the shape of a raindrop right blank and blank as it falls so the shape, the, is it a circle or is it a wa watermelon shape, oval shape? It doesn't stay the same. It's always being different, right? So the answer is it grows and changes as it falls, right? It grows, it splits, it gets bigger, it turns into a pear shape, it turns into a flat, a little flattened shape. B, the raindrops blank starts at just one millimeter in the air. <clears throat> it's very, very small. It's like a little mist. So we're talking about the size of the raindrop. And we learned the vocabulary word. It starts with a D. It's diameter, right? 
Diameter is talking about the size from one end to one end of a circle or a circular thing, right? Like a ball or like a raindrop. We call that the diameter. C, the pressure in the air starts to blank the drop. So the air is trying to squeeze the water and because of that, the shape is not round like this. It becomes a little bit flat at the top. So the action of trying to make something flat is we flatten it. We flatten the pizza dough before we make it and we flatten our notebook to make it very thin, right? Okay, we have three reviewed grammar terms here. A, as the raindrop falls, right, as it's falling, it blank with other drops. So it, what is it? We're talking about the raindrop, right? So the one single raindrop, there's one raindrop, it does combining, which means it joins together with another raindrop, right? Because this is it, we have to put the S at the verb. So again, when the subject, right, what we're talking about, if it's one thing, in this case it's it, right, then we have to put the S at the end of the verb. So we can say it talks or it walks or it sleeps, right? If there is no S, then that means it's going to be you, so you walk or we walk or they walk, right? So when there's many subjects or you and I, then we don't put an S, but if it's one subject like it or he or she, then we have to have to put the S, okay, at the end of the verb. B, the blank raindrop takes the shape of a jelly bean, right? So this word grow, right? It's a verb, right? But in this case, we're going to use it like an adjective, right? So in, we're going to use something called a present participle or 현재 분사 is growing raindrop. So I'll give you an example. The changing baby, that means the baby is always changing, right? The growing raindrop means the raindrop is always uh, growing and it's you know, can not just grow one time and stop, it's always growing. So we have to use the continuous growing raindrop. C, the parachute shaped droplet, the parachute of course is the big little fabric that people jump from the planes and they go down in, from the sky. Blank in two. So again, this is very similar to the first one. When we are talking about one thing, a droplet, we have to put the S at the end, right? We're talking about one it, we have to put the S. Same thing, we're talking about the droplet, it's one thing, we have to put the S. So it is splits, all right? So I know that we see rain, everyone has seen the rain, but not a, not a lot of us really think about, you know, how dynamic or how, you know, different each single raindrop is, right? Every raindrop is unique. So next time you see some rain, really try to see on the window uh, the different shapes and the different sizes, all right? Thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. I'll see you next time. Bye.